What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I've got an awesome little video for you guys on a solution to a very, very common problem. That's to do with the angle grinders. Anybody that uses an angle grinder on a regular basis will know when it comes time to replacing your disc, you need your tool. And if you don't have your tool, it's going to be very, very difficult to remove this blade um, or the disc. So what I've found is over the years, whenever I need this tool, it's always missing. It's at the bottom of my bag. It's somewhere where I completely forgot where it is. And to replace the blade or the disc without the tool is extremely difficult. Number one, it might be on very tight and you can't take it off without the tool. Number two, you might actually have not much left of the blade so that you can get a good grip on there and try and remove it. So the traditional way to remove this, battery out, press the button on the back. We need our tool, turn that one there over and then we can replace our disc. Now what we've got here is a quick little solution to that so that we no longer have to use the tool whatsoever. What we've got here is a little product called a Tech Fix. Now everybody out there, or the major brands out there anyway, make this little tool, and I had no idea that this thing actually exists. What it is, is a basically a locking nut, and it's also the tool at the same time. So as you can see there, we've got a little flange or a little wing that pops up so that we can actually loosen and tighten this one here off. So I'll show you guys just how easy it is to do this one here. We'll take a new disc, pop that on top. We'll take our new little tool, press the button on the back, thread it on, pop our little wing up there and we can tighten that one there on. Perfect little tool and now it's 100% operational, no tools required apart from the little locking nut. And you can see that is absolutely perfect. I can't really stress this enough. I've been using it for the past six months and to be 100% honest, I've been keeping it a secret from a lot of people. I absolutely love this thing. I had no idea it existed and that's the reason why I'm making this video. Help you guys out there. If you guys are interested, one of these here will set you back about $10, $12, depending on the brand. Um, but like I said, Milwaukee make it, Kango make it. If you haven't heard of Kango before, they make a whole range of awesome little products. I'm really starting to fall in love with their products. Top quality stuff. Um, but like I said, really simple and easy to remove. It's that easy, guys. No tools whatsoever. Absolutely love this thing. When I first bought it, I thought I might have a couple issues with it. I thought, what happens if I um, wind on my blade or my disc so tight that it's really hard to remove? Do I need a tool still to remove it? I've had absolutely no issues with that. It's super easy, no matter how tight you wind this one here on, you can still take it off. Undo the little wing, back it off, it comes off nice and easy every single time, guys. The only other thing that I was concerned about initially was that because it's got a little section here that pops up, I thought, what happens if during operation, this section here opens up on its own? It was just a theory of mine, and to be 100% honest, it's never done that, and I don't think it will do that, um, but it's an awesome little tool. Just thought I'd share this with you guys. Simple little solution. We don't need this tool anymore. We can just simply throw it away. I'll probably never, ever, ever go back to this old school style ever again. So much easier, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and this has helped you guys out in some way. Just a quick little tip. They come in two sizes, M14 and M10 for thread sizes. This one here is the Milwaukee Fuel. So if you've got the same one, it's an M14. Save you guys trying to figure it out. Um, but as far as I know, they only come in two sizes, M10, M14. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.